guys, it's Firefly Kiri, and we are back with another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby Power Lock. Now, as you all know, we are getting ready to take on the Lore Keeper. So, you know what? Ashley, come through! I'm prepared now. Let's go. We'll show, we'll show you our true strength. Waylord? Alright, let's go. Ashley. Uh, Thunderbolt. Bye bye, my lord. Melodic. Melodic probably has ice beam. But catch this thunderbolt and get out of here. Oh, it lived. Don't da 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 da. Really? You freeze me. Do I got a full restore? Yes, I do. Ba boom. Thought out and recovered our HP. Ow. You know what? Revolt switching. Alright, that kills my Lodic. Uh, we're gonna go to Carlos. Nope. Alright. So, best bet is, of course, Leaf Blade. Boom. Nice and crit, too. Ludicolo. We'll stay in. Fake out. Saw that coming. Leaf Blade! Stab! Oh, ah! No, 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 no. Oh, wait. <laughs> We're not four times weak. My bad. Bye bye, Ludicolo. Uh, Gardos. Uh, let's bring back Ashley. Because we can, uh, what we can do is we can. Thunderbolt it and it's four times weak. Oh no, my attack. Thunderbolt! Ba boom! Gyarados fainted. Whizcash? Okay. So Carlos will be our best bet here because four times weak to grass. So. Let's go, Carlos. Leaf Blade this thing. Bye, Julie. To defeat me. Yeah, well, we defeated you once already. Yes, yes, we know how wonderful we are. Yes. Alright. Now, what we're going to do is, uh, let's kill up. Alright. Here we go.
This is the sky pillar, guys. Oh, man. Let's go. The music. Just listen to that. So you came for me. Thanks for that. That's really good, Akiri. I really feel it right here. Since you've been a good girl, I, I think I'll give you something I've been keeping. Look, the painting that covers the wall of this tower. See, there are history. It's the history of humanity, of Pokemon, and of nature itself. There are tales that have been passed down by my ancestors, the Dracons, for thousands of years. And now I will pass the history and lore onto you. Thousands of years ago, in a primal age long lost, the world was overflowing with natural energy. Primal Groudon and Kyogre fought over that energy in endless furious clashes. In the face of Primal Groudon and Kyogre's great power, the people could do nothing. The only choice was to watch the disaster, a Pothfon disaster, swept over them. It was in such a time that a great me many meteorites poured from darkness's place, from this place, higher even than the heavens. And the meteorites fall into the in their multitude upon a waterfall that had long been home to a tribe of dragon type Pokemon users. Okay, that's it. That's the end of the first chapter of my tale. Alright. Um, real fast. I kind of want to look around. Whoa. I want to look around because sometimes there's stuff. Stuff? Free stuff? Anyone want free stuff? Anyone want to give me free stuff? Free stuff. Free stuff. Free stuff. Nope. No free stuff here. What about up this ladder? Free stuff! Yay! Check it scale. Pretty much this episode's probably just gonna be Xenia speaking. I don't know if we'll get to Rayquaza today or not. Spoilers. But we'll see. Oh, here you are. The, me the meteor shone with a rainbow brilliance as if great life was held within them. That was when, as if drawn by a brilliance, a Pokemon that shone in blazing, blazing emerald hue descended from the heavens. The Pokemon was none other than Rayquaza. Rayquaza's power overwhelmed that of two primal Pokemon, and peace was returned to the world. The people of Hoenn reverted to Rayquaza as their true savior. A thousand years after this time, meteorites once fell again. A huge meteorite, far greater than any from Vor, struck the planet, bore deep, boring into the deep ocean, leaving behind a crater larger than any other. The land born of this event later became Nosotopolis. Chapter 2 is over. The Great Meteor was the first of many disasters to befall humanity. When it punched into the planet, the land cracked beneath, and it, a great welling of natural energy bore, poured from beneath Hoenn. Thirsting for the energy, Primal Kyogre and Groudon woke, once woke again. The people had a wish, a memory from thousands of years before. They wished the legendary Pokemon clad in emerald light would appear again. The huge meteorite that lay at the heart of Cytopolis gave off a, 
a boundless brilliance. In its brilliance, it resembled a vast and powerful keystone. And once again, Rayquaza descended from whence it came in the heavens. Legendary Pokemon. Sounds like Mega Evolution, doesn't it? Oh, well, yeah. Uh. Oh my god. Why is this place so big? And how did the story end? After being transformed by the wishes of people, did request saving from disaster? Rayquaza once again confronted Primal uh, Groudon and Kyogre. A gold, the golden f uh, fragments that spring from its body covered in the sky. A br emerald brilliance emula emulated yeah, the area. A terrible wind arose. The wind and emerald light visibly snapped the power from Primal Kyogre and Groudon. Drained of their primal powers, the two vanished into the depths of land and sea. Rayquaza watched them go, regaining its usual appearance. Then it soared back up into the heavens where it dwells. A witness to this series of events, a tall visitor from a distant land, it said, it is a delta. It is the delta, born of great disturbances in the world. Bound by the bound born of mankind's wishes and powers of the stones, it will calm the trouble that plagues the world. So, in other words, Rayquaza will come and help whenever the people so wish it. A tower and painting of the past. You know, I feel like I've seen something like this recently, but now I suppose... It's time for the chapter in our tale to end. At last we reach the final chapter. Thousands of years of peace followed after the disastrous times, the Dracon people learning from their Long histories cycled nature foretold that meteor uh, meteoroids would fall in this land again. The meteoroids to come, they prophesized, would be far greater than those before it. This meteor would be great enough to break the world forever. In order to prevent this calamity, those who held the knowledge of the past arrived at a plan. Their plan was to evoke Rayquaza, the great savior, and summon it to this land before the meteorite could strike. And that's it. That's the end of our, of the Draconic Tale. I've spent long, I've spent a long time thinking about how I could protect the happiness as, of as many people as possible. What I must do as the one who holds both the knowledge and power. The one who bears the heaviest wishes of those who could not live up to the fate. Well, I had to be creative, you know. Oh, man. And we are at the top of Sky Pillar. <coughs> Excuse me. See that, Esther? You always wanted to watch them, right? The lit Linodes, a million gathering stars from, from the sky. The show's about to start. Aren't we happy now? Yes, what could be better, dear Aster? The Delta symbol. Welcome to Dragon Arc Altar, Kiri. You know what I'm trying to do here, don't you? That's right. I will summon Rayquaza to this world to destroy the meteor heading for Hoenn. This is this is our it's our duty. 
ever since I was a little girl, I have always turned my eyes up to the skies. Man, when I was so grief-stricken alone, I thought my heart might break of it. I turned to look up there so my tears would never ever fall. How about you? Have you ever had to do something like that? Right. I used to watch the stars like this all the time, together with Aster. We were always together in good and bad times. I loved her. I loved her with everything I had. But I still lost her. I want to see her. I want to be with her again, my sweet Aster. I will, won't I? With this? Just a little longer? So, my theory is Xenia had a daughter named Aster because earlier in the Delta episode she called the Wismer her daughter. Long story short, I really think that something happened to her daughter. And she she passed away. Guess I should say good morning. You slept well, didn't you? You look adorable when you sleep. Sorry about the whole knocking you out thing. Thanks, Xenia. Enough. I think it's time I gave it a shot. I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused you. If something happens to me, please take this little one. Okay, here I go. With the jewel bright and borrowed might from the spirits of the departed, through scattered right in thy great sight, my life as I as well as I offer. Ugh. I summon thee to aid this fight and save us from disaster. Realize them upon this world, for this I do summon thee. Rayquaza! There he is. Because I did it, I did it. Now the world will be saved. Esther, Esther, I did it. Great, Rayquaza, hear my wish. Achieve your mega evolution. Take hold of your true power. Show me your true face, the Rayquaza that will save this planet. Seeing his keen self did not react. gathered all the, of the keystones you came and yet why come on do it mega evolve why won't you do it what it can't be the one without enough powers you grow Rayquaza the meteorites should lie within Rayquaza's great body are enough have these thousands of years drained of them of their power? This this can't be. Can't everything I've done till now. Master, I can't I can't take any more. That's That meteorite. It's just like a mega stone. Rayquaza swallowed Akira's meteorite. Light is spilling forth from Rayquaza's body. Swallowing meteorites allows it to store so much power as a megastone. Whoa. Oh, it 
it's amazing. A carry. Red Cross is trying to build up power. It wants power for itself to take you on. Use everything you've got to win over Rayquaza. You have to master it. This is the legendary Pokemon that all of Hoenn infuses our great protector. You have to do this. And we are going to save right here. Cliffhanger! We will take on Rayquaza after <sighs> we'll take on Rayquaza in the next episode guys and then save Hoenn so remember guys be good stay safe but always have fun I'll see you guys next time bye